Hello, this is Hakka Devin, and today we are going to be reading SCP-294, also known as the Coffee Machine. I'm sure you've heard some stories about this machine and its infamous cup of joe. Before we go any further or details on that, let's get right into this SCP. Item number SCP-294. Object Class Euclid Special Container Procedures There are no special container procedures on file for SCP I for item SCP-294. However, only personnel of security clearance level 2 or higher are allowed to interact with it. See so document SCP-294-A. SCP-294 is currently being stored in the second floor personal break room and is monitored by two guards of security clearance level 3 at all times. Description Item SCP-294 appears to be a standard coffee vending machine. The only noticeable difference being an entry touchpad with buttons corresponding to an English key ewert keyboard. Upon depositing 50 cents US currency into the coin slot, the user is prompted to enter the name of any liquid using the touchpad. Upon doing so, a standard 12 ounce paper or drinking cup is placed and the liquid is indica the liquid indicated is poured. 97 initial test rounds were performed, including requests for water, coffee, beer, and soda, non-consumable liquids such as sulfuric acid, wiper fluid, and odor oil, as well as, as substances that do not usually exist in the liquid state, such as nitrogen, iron, and glass, and each one turn, returned a success. Test runs with solid materials such as diamond have failed, however, as it appears that SCP-294 can only deliver substances that can exist in a, a liquid state, and since diamonds are literally a fully solid its state of matter, it cannot uh, uh, produce this, as diamonds are, by definition, carbon arranged in, in a, a grid-like pattern to make the ink it as hard as possible. It is of note that after approximately 50 uses, the machine would not respond to further requests. After a period of approximately 90 minutes, the machine it seems to have restocked itself. It is also interesting to note that many caustic liquids that would have eaten through a normal paper cup seem to have no effect on the cups dispensed by the machine. Testing is ongoing. As suggested, SCP-294 was moved to the second floor personnel break room as a money-saving venture. A a shadow, e e shadow government organization like the SCP Foundation should not need to any money-saving ventures as they are infinitely funded. Following incident 29401, guards were stationed at the item and a security clearance became necessary to interact with it. Document 294A Regarding incident 29401 on August 21st, 2005, Agent Joseph Redacted attempted to use item 294 to obtain coffee during his allotted break time at 9.30 a.m. At the request of Agent Blank to see what it would do, Joe requested a cup of Joe from the item. Moments after confirming the selection, Agent Joseph began to sweat profusely and complain of dizziness before collapsing. After moving the unconscious agent to the infirmary, the medical team recovered the contents of the cup dispensed by SCP-294, a combination of blood, tissue, and other bodily fluids. Testing revealed the DNA sequences of the biological material dispensed by SCP-294 matched that of Agent Joe. <sighs> Agent Joe made a complete recovery after four weeks of rest and intravenous hydration. X-rays and CAT scans showed no further signs of injury, 
and Joe was released. Both agents were reprimanded. Additional security measures for SCP-294 have been recommended. Addendum SCP-294 or F. After reviewing documentation on SCP-294, redacted suggesting testing 294's ability to retrieve specific liquids from a distance. Addendum SCP-294-H. With the overseeing of O5 data expunged, we're going to say 053 because that's a random number. A cup of SCP 075's secretion was used as input. The product was proven to be the requested liquid, and the cup was able to successfully contain material. However, the report for incident 7507 was acknowledged two hours after the test. See Addendum SCP 275 M. A containment procedure breach had occurred exactly at the same time the test was taking place waking SCP-275 to its active stage. It was able to secrete an amount of basic solution equal to the capacity of a coffee cup before an emergency containment procedure was applied and it was rendered, rendered passive. The liquid was not found in the post-instant investigation. Addendum SCP-294-I Researcher punch in request for a cup of gold. The machine dispensed a cup of molten gold. Researcher requested similar precious materials with the same result. Researcher at the number 294J. Researcher punched in from a safe range a request for a cup of anti-water. The machine hummed briefly then and displayed out of range on the entry pad. It is theorized that SCP-294 has a limited range of collection and cannot reach into alternate universes or dimensions. Then I'm guessing you're actually completely theorizing. Addendum SCP-294-K SCP Dungeon SCP Request for Diamond SCP-294 hummed then displayed out of range on entry pad. SCP-294 gives us results for all, all the substances. As diamond is a solid crystalline form of carbon, it appears that the machine will not dispense liquid carbon, as this does not result in a diamond. When a cup of carbon was subsequently punched in, the machine can dispense a, a cup of liquid carbon. SCP-294 was immune to the damaging effects of the dispensed liquid. Well, I guess I would go for any liquids as of it. Kind of pointless to give someone a drink when you when it breaks you, right? Addendum SCP-294-M. Actually, hang on before we continue. What I just said just gave me an idea. What if you asked it for a cup of SCP-294? Testing for range of SCP-294's capability for retrieval has been initiated. A unique compound has been formulated, composed of undisclosed ratios of uh, redacted brand bleach and uh, Sam's Cola brand cola, Met RX powder, and the Gram Masala. I said uh, the brand of cola that I actually drink a lot these days. The fluid was created and placed in a sealed container 25 meters away from SCP-294. When requested, the fluid was dispensed. An equal amount of the mixture was no longer present in its original container. Addendum SCP-294-001 Researcher redacted under observation of level 4 personnel keyed in a request of the best drink I've ever had. SCP-294 dispensed a fluid similar in appearance to cola. The researcher identified it as a mixed drink he recalls having at a bar during his bachelor party and was convinced it was the best drink. 
Redacted did not know what ingredients were in the drink besides rum and cola. Further tests are scheduled to ascertain how SCP-294 gathers information. Addendum SCP-294 or O-01A. Under the same conditions, Agent Redacted, the best drink I've ever had, SCP-294 delivered a dark fluid topped with white foam, which was later identified as Vienna Lager. The cuff was printed with a color picture of five men and two women drinking beer on the beach. Redacted was one of them. In his briefing, Agent Redacted confirmed that his favorite drink ever was a Vienna and a lager he consumed at the beach with his friends. It has now been confirmed that SCP-294 has, has the ability to gather or information directly from someone's mind in order to comply with the given com uh, conditions. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Addendum SCP-294-Q01 and Subject keyed the perfect drink. The machine dispensed a cup containing an odorous lab in their liquid. After drinking the liquid, the subject appeared to go into shock, so later committed suicide. Leaving a note which read, I'm sorry, but at this point, everything's just one big letdown. Requesting such a drink again is highly discouraged. None of the components of the drink have yet been identified. No kidding. Then the SCP two ninety four T zero one subject keyed in something Cassie will like. Cassie being SCP-8085, I'm guessing. The device was heard to hum for about three seconds before dispensing an empty cup. Printed on the side of the cup was an image of a traditional soda fountain glass filled with something brown and topped with whipped cream. Upon introduction to SCP-8085, it was identified by her as a chocolate banana milkshake and judged delicious. Oh, that's adorable. Addendum SAP 294W. This is getting long. Researcher Key didn't request for a cup of music. SAP 294 produced a clear sparkling fluid that tasted vaguely alcoholic. Following ingestion, Sutter reported feeling and not hearing a continuous rhythm and demonstrated the ability to move and even dance with a certain fluidity that he had not previously shown. Testing on other abstract concepts is continuing. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is where things get really interesting. Addendum SCP-294 AB. During a mass security breach, Agent Redacted requested a cup of pertinent medical knowledge while taking shelter inside the uh, second floor bake bake room. Of the four agents in the room, Agent Redacted was the only one who was not injured. SCP-294 poured a cup of clear green in liquid. Following the ingestion of the substance, Agent Redacted began ending the other agent's wounds in a manner consistent with Foundation medical training. Agent Redacted no longer has medical training that liquid provided, and other attempts to recreate the effect have failed. The agent has speculated that this event was an emergency measure taken by the object to ensure self-preservation. Addendum SCP 294 AC. Dr. Redacted requested My Life Story from SCP 294. SCP 294 made humming noises and shook violently for approximately three minutes before providing a highly viscous, opaque black liquid. Upon consumption, Dr. Redacted reported that he remembered everything that ever happened to him. Following this test, Dr. Redacted entered his office and returned 48 hours later with a 538-page autobiography.
Addendum SCP-294 AD Researcher or produce request consisting solely of the phrase Surprise me. That is a dumb thing to ask a robot to do ever. And even if it is a coffee machine that seems to be a little bit sentient, it's still technically kind of a robot. Device produced an opaque cup containing normal water, later determined to have been healed to approximately 200 degrees Celsius. Upon receiving vibration from transport, the contents of the cup turned into, spe into steam, violently spraying boiling water in a 2 meter radius. That was a little bit foolish. Addendum SCP 294 AF Researcher produced requests for Blood of Christ. SCP 294 vibrated and produced message Hake is Calix the Sanguinis May. Did produce a paper cup containing approximately 0.12 liters of red and grape wine. I know I didn't announce that Latin incorrectly. I have no idea what it says. I am not looking it up. SCP-294 AG Research produced request for cup of Smilodon blood, cup of passenger pigeon blood, and cup of Thomas Jefferson's blood, and received three out of range errors. Why were you looking these up? And the last one makes me feel like you were trying to do some something very interesting. Addendum SCP 294 AH. A D class personnel with a, with an IQ of 99 and low curiosity scores was given written instructions about what to request. The D class personnel produced a request for blood of Canis Lupus and received the cup of subsequently identified a cup of liquid subsequently identified as wolf blood. The D class personnel next produced and received a request for Saliva of Ecus ferris calibus and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as, how or, or as, as horse saliva. Why? The D class personnel next produced a request for urine of fossil of fa Ascol Arctis cinerius and received a cup of liquid subsequently identified as qual o urine. The D class personnel next produced a request for Cerebrospinal fluid of Phoberomys patersonae and received a cup of liquid currently undergoing analysis. It is known that at Phoberomys is patersonae written ink during the late Miocene epoch approximately 8 million years ago. Uh, then them SCP a two ninety four AI. Doctor King produced request for a cup of room temperature superconductor. And received a cup of apple juice with seeds flowing in it. What? I don't get that one. Addendum SCP 294 AJ. Dr. Menchu produced requests for a cup of D 158039's leukemia and received a cup of fluid. The fluid was microscopically examined and found to contain leukemic blast cells, which were a genetic match to D 158039. A second request for a cup of D151839 leukemia resulted in an out of range error. D151839 was subsequently found to be free of leukemia. However, within 15 days, the leukemia had returned. Other SCP 294 experiments are currently awaiting approval. And if you believe a certain list, there was one, but we won't mention that.
a character at all anymore. Anyway, that was SCP-294, the coffee machine that can produce any liquid requested of it. If that, if if the requested liquid has liquid form and exists within this universe, so no, you can't get a cup of anti-water. I'm sorry to anyone who hates water that much. Anyway, if you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!